Hello and welcome to the new video that is sorting comparator. So I think this is the fifth problem in the sorting section uh, in the playlist hacker rank interview preparation kit. And this is marked as a medium and for score 35. So I don't think this is of medium type uh, where normal hacker rank medium problem lies. However, this could be a little bit difficult if you don't know what comparator is and uh, when we use them. So let's start with the problem definition first. After that, I'll write code uh, for this particular problem. So what is the sorting and what is a uh, comparator and when do we use a comparator? So let's say you have a class and you have marks for all the students. So and you've been asked to award the ranks based on whoever has scored the maximum mark will get the lowest rank. Let's say uh, maximum marks is 100. So first rank will be given who is close to 100 and so accordingly. So you have to sort the array in the descending order and the ranks will be the indexes. So what you simply do is let's say uh, someone with the rank, uh, marks 100 you would award him the rank first. After that someone let's say score 90 you would award him the rank uh, second. Let's say after that someone comes with the uh, marks 80 you would rank him 3. After that someone again will come at the uh, value 80. So in the general case you have to uh, rank the particular 80 mark as a third rank because you don't differentiate between the people you simply differentiate between the marks. So when we use comparator is whenever we have more than one parameters from which we can sort. So what we are generally doing in the past or using all the sorting techniques we are simply doing using one parameter. So that could be a, like marks or any salary or anything. So it was completely based on one parameter. However, in the comparator function or in this particular problem, we have to sort using person's name and score as well. So here problem is we will give again like the as the normal sorting works, we'll uh, sort the values into descending order and whoever has the highest score will get the lowest rank so first, second, third, again etc so the problem will lie whenever two persons let's say a ram and sham will score the same marks let's say they score 50 so who would get the first rank so we here in this particular problem we are not awarding the same rank to two persons so we are basically doing one rank for each person so what we'll do is we'll sort them lexicographically their name and whoever comes fast uh, first so in this case ram would come first uh, lexicographically uh, instead of sham so La ram will be awarded first rank or uh, like uh, in be between them and so on so this is the whole crux of the problem we have to sort first on basis of marks and whenever we get the two person or two people or maybe two uh, more than two people with the same marks then we have to do a lexicographical sorting so generally what we can do is we, we can sort let's say first sort an array with a uh, given marks uh, let's uh, let's sort that into descending order and after that we'll check for each mark if there is uh, like similarity between the marks and if yes and then we can do a, like another sorting approach so this could be a uh, tad bit of um, what we can say uh, extra uh, in the both terms of uh, space and time complexity so in this case we can use a comparator function okay i i generally don't like the problems where they have uh, initially written all the statements and you are basically asked to write a function or a statement so let's uh, go uh, let's go through the problem let's see what they have done and what they are expecting from us so if you have read the problem they have clearly asked us to create a comparator uh, like a checker class and then use a comparator function that is a compare it will be of a bool type it will return true or false whenever we have the cases so i i'll show you whenever we are writing the problem so this is basically we have to do we have to create one class and then write the comparator function okay let's check how uh, how to write code for this particular solution and what they have provided us and and top of that we'll write our code so first check what they have given us and we'll check uh, how the code has written so let's start with the main function so main is given uh, there is a n that is number of value so we have created or they have created a uh, what we can say a vector of players or vector of structures array of structures basically so in that they have taken input then they have taken input for name and score 
or uh, structure declaration and the values are uh, inserted into the structure given structure and after that they have called the sort function so this is the important line where all the sorting uh, will occur so generally in this uh, c++ stl sort function we generally give two values that it is start of the array and end of the array and we expect uh, it to be sorted by that however in this case we will be writing extra compare function uh, which will provide us the our uh, our parameters or or our need how we want to compare the values so we'll write compare here and the this particular compare will be of type bool and will be called here so we can see a compare function takes the input that is a player a and player b so these are two uh, structures that are taken as an arguments uh, and uh, after this uh, checker so this is the class which we need to create and this is the comparator function so uh, it basically means is comparator is a function of checker uh, class which we are using and we'll pass on the values of two structure and we'll check if the given value is minus one that means so uh, nothing occurs and we would be returning false otherwise we're returning true so in this function uh, we have to write this particular function we have to write a class that is checker and we have to write a function or uh, that could be of static int uh, and we'll return the value so let's start so first would be class and they have a uh, first letter capital at checker so this will be a starting point and a class always ends with the semicolon so that's one another thing after this all the class members are private by default so we'll ensure that uh, we are using public function after this uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, give the return type that is all uh, maybe a static int or it would do so in this we'll take the function that is a comparator so this is this particular function is called here here we would again take the two values which are passed that is a and b though both are the structure so we'll basically take the same input that is a player a structure and player b structure okay in this particular function we will be doing two things uh, we'll simply return the value whichever is the maximum so let's say a and b if a score is high we we'll simply return uh, zero that we don't have to do anything if not we'll return minus one and second thing is whenever we occur that uh, the score is same then in uh, in that particular case only we'll check whoever has the highest score and then we would return the value so what we'll do is we we'll simply check if for both the structure if the score is same or not so we can do that by using a dot operator we'll check a, a dot score is equal to b dot score or not if this is yes we want to check if a is high having highest mark so we can we can simply do is let's check if this work or not so we can simply return a dot name is less than uh, p dot name so we want to store lexicographically smaller element to the first so we would return this particular statement uh, uh, this statement and it will return the value uh, that is true or false because whenever the particular statement would become false so it would return zero if not it will return a non-zero value so let's check if it works or not if not we'll uh, add another if case so <clears throat> after this we'll use a else if and in else if we'll check if a is having high score than that of b so this is a normal case uh, where you don't have to check for the name and we'll check only scores if this is the case we want to return zero because uh, there is nothing we can do and this is a simple process and if uh, our cases or our structure don't fall in the both the cases we would be returning simply minus one so let me check uh, there is a compilation error so p score oh i have written small p. big pp okay let me change the statement here because it could be causing a confusion so what we'll simply do is we'll use if and let me have the statement so what we'll simply do is we'll check if a's name is less than that of b you would return zero so I think this would do.
okay it passes the test cases let's check for the hidden test cases uh, if you are someone who is trying to solve all the problems for hacker rank interview preparation kit do check other videos and if you feel there is a need for improvement on my part do let me know in the comments thank you for watching have a great rest of the day